Down at the bottom of the screen. And here's Archie Manning back to throw for the first time this afternoon. He's flushed out of the pocket. 30-35. Loses the ball. And let's see. The Buccaneers, I believe, have it. The Bucks have it at the 36-yard line. 36-yard line. Ricky Bell. Bell to the 30-yard line. To the 29. And along with Ricky Bell. As they work from the split backfield this time. Beating Dumos, and Dumos finds a nice hole over the left side, and he's got a first down for the Buccaneers at the 24. Backfield, Dubose in place of Ed Williams. First and 10. Bell running his way across the 20 to the 19-yard line. That's another five yards. Up back to throw it for the first time. He's got wide open. Down to the neighborhood of the 20-yard line, Jimmy Dubose. McKay, the holder. It's far enough, but it's no good. Houston again comes out wide to the left side. John Herman in motion off to the right. Archie Manning. Evading Selman's rush. But he got him the second time around, I'll tell you that. Council Rudolph with an assist from Leroy Selman. Selman really applied the pressure and then turned around and got him coming back. Now, anytime you can get a three-man line to put on this kind of pressure, you know you've got some big studs up front. As uh, Leroy comes in, frightens uh, Archie Manning out of the way. Here comes Council to do the cleanup work. Back with Dewey, or Leroy rather. That uh, race is back there along with Hagens. This is Reese at the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, down to the 27-yard line. At the St. 36. They got it down inside the 20, then the holding penalty hurt him. Ricky Bell in the sweep behind Williams block. Bell gets it inside the 25 and is run out of bounds on the far side at the 22-yard line by Clarence Chapman. Third and two for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the 20-yard line of the New Orleans Saints. Ricky Bell trying to pick up the first down. He's got it. He's inside the 15 of the 14 on a great bit of individual effort. Bell in the setback. They give it to Bell on the delay, and Joe Pettersfield, the middle linebacker, was blitzing. So that was the wrong call, obviously, and he was dropped back at the 23. And he... It is good! A 40-yard field goal by Dave Green, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers lead the New Orleans Saints by a score of 3 to nothing with five minutes and 48 seconds left to play. On second and four, Galbraith breaks the initial tackle at the line of scrimmage, but boy, look at that horde of white shirts. Under this one at the 23, 25, race 30, 35, 40, look at him! Beautiful run back, the second fine run back for Reese, who is finally corralled at the 42-yard line. Oh, he gets it up there, too, doesn't Still he? not bad, he only shot it by four yards. Behind Gary Huff. Dumos, 35, 30. First down for the Buccaneers at the 28. That's an odd formation. Gary Huff over the middle of Dumos. Dumos at the 35, dragged down at the 34. So the Saints defense stops the Buccaneers. This is a little bit out of Dave Green's field goal range, I would imagine. Officials mark the ball at the five. Archie Manning throwing from out of the end zone, and he is going long. Intercepted, intercepted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Mike Washington. And Washington giving it back to Cedric Brown, and Brown is inside Saints territory to the 34-yard line. The field, that's absolutely amazing. Unbelievable field position. Ricky Bell in motion, it's Dubose to the 30. And Dubose carries to the 26-yard line. A yard needed for the first down. Buccaneers at the 25-yard line of the New Orleans Saints. They give it to Ricky Bell, and I don't know if he got it. I believe that once you get down there, you've got to come away with something, be it three points or six or but uh, you've got to get something. Well, he doesn't have to make that decision because the Buccaneers picked up the first down by the margin of the nose of the football. Quick. Dave Green, one out of two. This will be from 25. He is hit from 40 and missed from 33. 
He's got it. First and ten. New Orleans at their 26-yard line, and Archie Manning wants to put it up. Big rush, and down he goes. Leroy Selman. With ten quarterback sacks coming into this ballgame, racks up number 11 on a spectacular sack. wondering where those white shirts are coming from. Turned out to be a great kick all the way back to his 42, 45, 50, 45. Higgins spinning around at the 43, 40, 35, 30, and finally down at the 24-yard line. Another flag is down. Down 20. at the 34. Up, looking for a receiver, and he's buried. Back at the 42-yard line. Left in the half. Going long, and he's got a man out there, and he has it at the 31-yard line. Owens makes the reception for the first down. One-yard line. Two minutes left to play. Huff back to throw it. Got a man wide open. That's Dubose at the 25, and Jimmy fights his way down to near the 23-yard line. You can see the time remaining in the first half of play. Dubose picking up the first at the 19-yard line. Bob Pollard makes the tackle. Back to throw it, floats it out for Lewis Carter. Carter at the seven, fumbles the ball and falls to the five. <laughs> had he not dropped the ball, he'd have had clear sailing to the end zone. Play is five out of six. He's had an excellent first half. And up is going to throw it again, floats it out, corner of the end zone, touchdown! Morris Owens pulls it down in a corner of the end zone. So the Buccaneers race to their locker rooms with a lot of zest because who knows, this could indeed be the day at the Superdome in New Orleans. That's the end of the first half. The score, the Bucks 13, the Saints nothing. 3-4, almost to perfection. Muncie and Galbraith, the setback, Scott throwing, intercepted! That could be an easy six points! Washington. The matter's is that far. Hank Graham went with Bobby Scott, changed the quarterback. He goes out trying to give it to Gillum. Washington steps in front. Great shape. Good position. But he starts his showboat a little bit here. I think four Tampa Bay fans, they won't, they'll accept anything because he could have been tackled like they lost the football. Scott tried to head him off at about the five-yard line. A 45-yard interception return by Mike Washington. <laughs> Bobby Scott to Muncie. Muncie gets a block, 40, 45, 50. Muncie caught from behind, but not before he reaches the 44-yard line. <laughs> Muncie, driving hard, has the first down for the Saints at the 30-yard line. They've got a 20-point cushion to work on now. They can hold the Saints to under 20 for the half. They'll have that first victory. Second and 10, good protection. Scott has it hit. Intercepted by Woods at the 20, 30, 40. And out to the 45-yard line. Protection was good, and then Scott's arm was hit. His arm was hit just as he threw it, and he threw up a, one of those butterflies, and Richard Wood picked it off and took it back. 30 yards on the return, and a Bucks first down at their 47-yard line. Protection good, fires a bullet to Don Herman over the middle. He's pulled down at the Tampa Bay 44-yard line, first down. Three-yard line. Bucks have had two turnovers in the third quarter, two pass interceptions against Scott. This one is tipped away by Lewis, intended for Galbraith at the 35-yard line. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 76, defense. Dave first Pair, down. the middle guard, number 76, nine-yard line of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bobby Scott looking this time. He's under pressure, trying to run out of it. Throws on the run. He's got Muncie. Touchdown! Oh, hey, hey. He caught it out of bounds. He had one foot in and one foot out. And you cannot do it if it's right for right. Only at the collegiate level. He starts to backpedal. 
not knowing exactly where he was. One foot down, the next foot on the line. That's no good. Great camera work. On the line is out. This one intended for Henry Childs. Well overthrown on third down and ten. Scott letting it fly for Gilliam. It is knocked down. In the third period. Most costly, of course, the interception run back for the touchdown. Bobby Scott has to throw. He's an end zone. He may be dropped for a safety. Selman finally got him, but not before he got out to the four-yard line. And now Scott is hot because I think he wants a face mask call. That's the second touchdown for the defense of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They've outscored the offense this afternoon, two touchdowns to one. And Richard Wood with an easy 10 yards. He sees the goal line. And Muncy tries to head him off, but not nearly soon in advance. Wouldn't mind seeing it one more time. I don't know why Bobby Scott threw this pass. As we look up feel a little bit, he's waiting on one of his receivers to clear an obstruction, so then he releases it with Richard Wood standing right in front of his intended receiver. An easy giveaway. Well, it's hard to believe that the Saints can score that money in one quarter. Here's Manning, big rush. 50, 45, and Leroy Selman from behind lays him out at the 43-yard line, and Archie will get up slowly, wondering, did somebody get the number of that truck? Leading 26 to nothing. Scott, sideline throw, hits Henry Childs, the tight end, fights off one tackle, goes out of bounds at the 41. That should be enough for the first down. Saints at the Buccaneer 40-yard line. Archie rolling out. Look out. Dave Pear had him. Got away. Archie to the 40, to the 35, and slides to a halt at the 30-yard line with a touchdown. A team that uh, hasn't run an interception back for a touchdown in its history gets two and one half. Fourth down. Saints need two for the first down at the 30-yard line. They give it to Muncie. Muncie trying to get outside, and he'll never make it. Buccaneers really after him. Archie Manning. Sends it long. And it is caught by Herman down to the 15-yard line. And Herman is dragged down by Jarris White, number 45. Trying to at least avert the shutout here. That's Childs, and Childs is down to the three, maybe the two-yard line. Manning on the rollout, touchdown. So the Saints finally score on the two-yard rollout by Archie Manning. Interconference game immediately following the conclusion of this ball game. Williams driving for the first down and really running hard. Huff going upstairs. Completes it to Williams. Williams is out of bounds at the 44 of the Saints. Dave Green standing back at his 45-yard line. The snap is high. He's going to throw it over the middle and is caught. But, and I believe it'll be a first down. I think he got his first down. Danny Reese, number 46, as Green's pass was high. And Reese did a great job in flagging it down. In the Superdome. Second down, eight. Hot, hot. Owens in motion. Quick handoff. They hold Williams. Loses the ball at the 10-yard line. Had a great run. Almost broke it for a touchdown. And the Saints recover. Gilliam in motion out of the full house backfield. No swing pass. Out to Galbraith to the 18-yard line for a pickup of seven, and that won't do it because that just keeps the clock moving. Archie Manning under pressure. Penalty marker is down. Henry Childs made the catch but paid the price. Holding, number 68, offense. Second down. It was intercepted for a touchdown. Blocked and intercepted by number 72, Greg Johnson. That is three touchdowns scored by the Tampa Bay defense. And the crowd here at the Superdome is now cheering up.
Let's look at it again. Everything happens here when Pandora's box opens up. Anything can come out. This time, Madden tries to get a screen pass set up. Glenn Robinson, number 64, on the block. The ball is in the air, and there's Mr. Johnson to pull it down.